Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about Kaku plus. The topic that is about differential equations. So now I want to show you how to answer. I will put about m equals to this one and n equals to this one. We have the s. That means we need to do first the derivative of m with respect to y. So we need to do first the derivative of this one. This one that is about the constant. So you got number zero. This one we can apply the product rule. So we have like this. So this one we have number one. This one we have s e to the power of s y. So because we do first the derivative of this one, we keep the same e to the power of s y. This one we do first the derivative of y, so we just have only s, and that's why we have like this. So because we have dy, so we need to do first the derivative of n with respect to s. So this one we don't have s, so you got number 0. This one we have number 1. And this one we have y e to the power of s y. And we can see that this one and this one they are same. So that is about exact. Now we need to set up the function f s y equals to the integration. So I will put this one going here and I will have g s y. So the integration of this one we have s the integration of this one we have e to the power of s y over y. So this one here we simplify and we have like this. Later that we need to do first the derivative of f with respect to y for the both sides. So this one you got number zero. This one we have s e to the power of s y. And we know that this one equals to this one. Now we simplify for the both side, and we have like this. Later that we put the integration for the both side. And this one we have y square. Now we go back in here. The integration of this one, we have gsy. gsy equals to this one. And this one equals to fsy. fsy equals to c. And now we have the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.